All right, hello, citizens of the Nudgeverse. It is Nudge here once again, and it's predictions time once again. And, and not gonna lie, hey, this one kind of caught me off guard because uh, it's NXT time, and NXT is finally going to have their first uh, pay-per-view slash premium live event of the year 2024 with Vengeance Day, which is actually this Sunday. I, hey, I knew Vengeance Day was coming up, I just didn't know when, but it turns out it's this Sunday. Hey, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't really been, uh, following closely with NXT as close, close as I probably should, but, uh, nevertheless, uh, as, uh, we got had some matches on here, here, and, of course, uh, there's a couple things to mention. For starters, we are, it's just the order that is there on the wiki, so we're going to, uh, we're going to, to um, <clears throat> we're going to, who uh, go in order that they're listed on the wiki, but that doesn't mean that, that they'll be the order that they're actually on the show. So, oh, uh, the show might have a different order when it comes time, but this is just how they're listed on the wiki, so that's just where it's going to come there. Uh, but the se but the uh, second thing is, is uh, the next thing is, um, uh, also, as per usual, we're going to do our, uh, what I think is going to be the strongest and weakest matches of the night, like kind of those predictions, but the, th but the other thing is that, uh, at, um, it's on Sunday, and I am planning on watching it Sunday, but because I do have other plans on Sunday, I'm not sure when exactly I'll be back, so, uh, Oh, um, I may be back uh, very late. I might be back uh, early in time for the show. So if I am back in time for the show, or even if I just miss like one or two matches, is uh, what I'll do is watch them on Monday, and then the review will come out Tuesday. But if I'm back in time and able to watch the show, or or even if I just miss a couple matches and just go back to rewatch those, then it'll be out on time on Monday. But uh, nevertheless, without further ado, let's get into our predictions. Starting with uh, with, uh the finals of the men's Dusty Rose. It's tag team classic. It's where the winners will receive a future NXT tag team championship match. Match, uh, match which is kind of awkward because at least two of these people involved in this match are might be main roster bound. Um, but we have uh, Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker uh, going against Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. So, oh, uh, Trick Mellow Gang hey, uh, is looking to not just win the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic, but uh, but also win uh, potentially win NXT Tag Team Championship gold. But they'll have to go through Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin. And now, oh, this is interesting because uh, as uh, seemingly both Braun Breaker and Carmelo Hayes are main roster bound. Uh, Carmelo Hayes has been appearing on SmackDown. Braun Breaker has appeared in the Rumble, and, and Braun Breaker may also appear on SmackDown. Although Shawn Michaels said Braun Breaker has some unfinished business in NXT, and maybe this is uh maybe this is wh what he was talking about. Out uh out uh, as for Trick Williams, this this won't be the last time you see him on uh, Vengeance Day though. Oh, uh, he's gonna be pulling double duty, and uh, we'll get into that. But as for this match. Honestly, I could see this one going either way. Hey, I'm tempted to go with I'm te I'm tempted to go with uh Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker, especially because Shawn Michaels said that uh Braun Breaker has unfinished business in NXT, so oh, perhaps Carmel Hello Hayes might get the call up before Braun Breaker or um but if they are going up at the same time, it may complicate things. And so this one could go either way. I'm also tempted to go with uh, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams, a.k.a. Trick Mello Gang, and uh, to give Trick Williams the uh, a win and have him head into the next match because they like to do that when they pull double duty. Like, hey, when it comes to wrestlers who pull double duty or even triple duty, he, uh, he, um... He, normally they give them at least one win and and either give them the other win so they win on both times and uh, or all throughout the night or they at least lose one uh and, but i think and actually you know what i, I think i'm gonna go with uh trick mellow gang so carmelo hayes and trick williams i, I think i'm gonna go with the i'm gonna lock in for that one uh and uh but then next up for the nxt women's championship a uh, lyra lyra valkyria will be um, will be defending against Roxanne Perez, and so uh, there was the twenty woman battle royal, well, uh, well, and then, and uh, and it came down to the fatal four ways. Hayes, 
uh, and Roxanne Perez won that. And so oh, uh, she's going to be facing the Lara Valkyria here. And of course, Roxanne Perez, uh, the former NXT Women's Champion, uh, relinquished it after her uh, in storyline. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, uh, at least I hope it was storyline. I, I forget whether or not the storyline was real, but uh, she ended up fainting, so she so they took the title off of her, and she's been trying to get it back ever since. Uh, will she do it against Lara Valkyria? I'm tempted to say hey, no. Like, uh, I think I, th I don't think they're gonna pop it on Roxanne Perez just yet, uh, especially with them kind of teasing uh, her coming out to the main roster as well with her being involved in, held in the uh, Women's Royal Rumble well, two years in a row now. Oh, uh, so oh, uh, she could be gearing up for a call up. I don't know if they're gonna take it off Valkyria just yet, but I totally could be wrong. On, uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Lyra Valkyria on this one. Uh, uh, but then next uh, up, uh, up uh, for the NXT North American Championship, Obafemi is going to be uh, defending against Dragon Lee. Of course, Obafemi won the uh, men's breakout tournament and uh, and, uh, and and cashed in his contract on uh, Dragon Lee to take his North American Championship. So now, oh, Dragon Lee wants it back. Will Dragon Lee get it back? I, I don't think so. Oh, uh, oh, especially considering Obafemi just won it. It, and I don't want them doing the whole hot potato thing because they love doing that. At, uh, at, um, especially with, uh, I think uh, Dragon Lee uh, main roster call might have been might have been put on the shelf, especially in the wake of uh, Wesley's injury and everything. But I uh, don't think he's quite winning here. Uh, it will be my first time seeing Obafemi in the ring. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I missed the whole breakout tournament. I definitely got to go back and watch it. A lot of people are saying that uh, Oba was definitely impressive. But I'll have to uh, check it out. Uh, uh, but I think Obafemi is probably going to retain here. Uh, but then next uh, up, the big one for the NXT Championship. And this one, I, I mentioned the matches are probably going to be out of order uh, in terms of when they'll actually appear on the card. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be the main event because... Uh, not just because it's the NXT Championship, but because this one's the one people have been waiting for. Or Ilya Dragunov will be defending against Trick Williams. So, uh... <laughs> So of course, Trick Williams, what a ways to go here. Had to, uh, was initially in the Fatal Five way, got attacked. It dropped down to the Fatal Four way. Had to make his way back, heck, uh, courtesy of the, uh, courtesy of the Iron Survivor Challenge back at Deadline. Go, uh, go watch my review of Deadline if you missed it. It's so Trick Williams seems to be. They they're definitely giving him a push, and it's definitely well earned. He is over or with the crowd of course there's now the report that uh, the uh, officials who's uh, the higher ups were very impressed with the response that Trick Williams got on SmackDown when uh, he when he came to Carmelo Hayes's uh, rescue Uso. Oh, and it, and it is impressive when you got, uh, uh, like, a bigger crowd. Oh, like, the main roster crowd. Uh, all chanted, whoop that trick. Hey, his uh, catchphrase. Trick is definitely, he's de definitely, he's definitely getting that push. Which, uh, which, which is uh, really awesome to see. He, will he actually, he, uh, get, will he actually he receive the NXT Championship? Uh, I'm not sure, or, uh, but uh, it will be interesting to see, and it'll be interesting to see if Carmelo Hayes will turn on Trick Williams in this match. Actually, it looks like they are gearing up for, or, uh, for Carmelo Hayes to battle Trick Williams, um, uh, potentially at uh, Stand and Deliver, and I imagine after that, Carmelo Hayes will probably move up to the main roster full-time, but, but, um, but it will be interesting to see this match at, uh, at, uh, uh, now this was supposed to happen at uh, New Year's Evil, well, but uh, Ilya Dragunov was injured in storyline. He was taken out, out, unfortunately, with the injury at the hands of uh, Rich Holland, which uh, made a lot of people upset considering what I mean, what uh, happened with Rich Holland and him accidentally injuring uh, Big E and everything. But uh, nevertheless, uh, as uh, as uh, Avengers Day will be the time, and I think I'm gonna lock in. I think I'm gonna go with Ilya Dragunov. Uh, now, if Trick Williams win it, I, I don't think I'd be mad at. It and it would it would make even more sense for the turn and then from Carmelo Hayes, but I but I think Carmelo Hayes might I, I think Dragonov's gonna retain I think uh, Hayes is probably gonna cost Williams who's here thus setting up up them um, versus uh, setting up them against each other at a 
at uh, stand and deliver. But uh, then next up for or the or, or actually for the nothing, this is just a six person mixed tag at the family. That being Tony D'Angelo, oh, uh, Ch uh, Stax, Axe, uh, and uh, aka Channing Stax Lorenzo and Adriano Rizzo uh, will be battling King OTM, aka Out the Mud. Uh, uh, that being Lucian Price, Bronco Nima, and Jada Parker alongside Scripps. He took the mask off, and yet they're still calling him Scripps. <laughs> you might as well just go back to calling him Reggie. Please go back to calling him Reggie. He, like, the Scripps character is over. He's not Scripps anymore. He doesn't have the mask ask or the or the awful attire anymore. He's just Reggie now. Just just call him Reggie. He, why, why you call him Scripps? Just call him Reggie. But uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, I, I guess they... Hey, uh, I guess they paid for the trademark, so they're gonna they're gonna use it. If my camera would focus, is uh thanks. Uh, but uh, as for this one, this one could go either way. I'm surprised the uh, NXT Tag Team Championships aren't on the line. I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I think these two sides have been feuding for a bit. It I know uh, uh OTM I, I believe and, and uh yeah OTM did it um attempt to challenge for the uh, NXT Tag Team Championships, I believe that was at Deadline, I mean, uh, in the Fatal 4, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, as for this, I think, I'm, I think I might go with, um, honestly, this one could go either way, hey, um, hey, something's telling me, hey, uh, uh, something's telling me to go with OTM, um, aka Out the Mud, uh, uh, and maybe they'll get a uh, a NXT tag title shot. Maybe at Stand and Liver, who knows? But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with OTM for this one. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, a nose qualification match. Uh, Dijak going against Joe Gacy. So Joe Gacy has been on a interesting character arc. So Joe Gacy, he pretty much uh, disbanding the schism, especially with uh, with. Um, with uh, Zach Gibson and James Drake, aka a hey, hey the Grizzled Young Veterans, which uh, which I'm surprised they were still able to keep the name, but I guess they must have owned the trademark on it. It uh it, and they took it with them to TNA. Uh, hey, but uh, nevertheless, uh, as um, uh, but nevertheless, Joe Gacy's kind of been uh kind of been on a um on a character change, kind of doing in the weird stuff, uh, no longer with Ava, which is why Ava's now kind of in the general manager position, and now is permanently there because William Regal made it, so, oh, uh, although William Regal, well, th this year, I, I need you to say war games, uh, games around Survivor Series time, I'm all right, big deal, cool, but, uh, yeah, so, nevertheless, Joe Gacy's kind of been an on <laughs> kind of uh, been on a weird character arc. Or, uh, or I forget exactly how the feud with him and Dijak began, but and but I know they did some stuff uh, last night on NXT. Yeah, so oh, it resulted in this match here. Or, uh, this one, and I, I'm tempted to go with Dijak uh, here, or perhaps uh, some people have wanted Dijak to get a bigger push in. Yeah, I think that's fair, but I think I'm going to go with Dijak on this one, it, although this one could go potentially either way. But nevertheless, uh, that are, that is my predictions. Uh, for the match of the night, I'm definitely going to go with the NXT Championship match. That has a lot of hype and hopefully lives up to it. And for the weakest match, I might it might have to go well, maybe only by comparison, by proxy. Maybe it's either the nose qualification match or the uh, the. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals. Oh, well, it's not saying those would be bad matches. Just it's not really as maybe not, not as good as like the other match on the card. But we'll see when it comes to Sunday on a on a Vengeance Day. But hey, and funnily enough, I mentioned a potential betrayal from Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams between uh, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Um, so that wouldn't even be the first betrayal that's happened at Vengeance Day, hey, uh, if you can believe it. But uh, nevertheless, uh, that has my predictions, and I think I'm going to lock those in. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video, you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on Vengeance Day. Are you excited? And who do you think is going to win? And uh, But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.